what is good y'all welcome to the video welcome to the platform welcome to the movement all right this is the first look unboxing of these pre-burnt screens that i had ordered a screen is what will allow you to print a graphic onto a t-shirt okay we're just here uh making some prototypes seeing what we're gonna do when we actually reach the print shop so we only made two or three shirts here um, but sit back enjoy stay open to absorbing new knowledge and watch this exclusiveness. This is this is the only place that you're gonna be able to see this type of stuff. You know, the raw, unedited versions of everything. And um, I hope y'all enjoy, it, man. I hope y'all enjoy. It's some greatness cooking up, mindful, the mindful way. You already know. So sometimes when it comes to decision making, we tend to allow our ego to make these decisions for us or influence us so much to the point where we're not even traveling on the path of least resistance. We're going towards the path of what's resisting us most which is our pride and ego so our discernment gets foggy when we're making decisions based on the perspective of other people because our perception is telling us that we will be judged you cannot control how you are perceived to anybody period so do what's best for you make these decisions based on the path of least resistance in your heart if you feel like you gotta hold yourself accountable do that shit you feel like you gotta cut some people off you feel like you have to sometimes it's not even about cutting people off it's about changing their role in your life because some people is placed way too high you gave some people raises and promotions and they did not deserve that shit it was really just a distraction and company and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes healthy distractions they need to be brought back down they wasn't prepared and equipped for that role that you put them in and that's why you're being disappointed now you're coming up with expectations and that's on you that's on you so again hold yourself accountable shift the tide make the arrangements and movements that you need to in your life the one who can humble themselves is the most extraordinary out the bunch. Keep yourself humble so the world doesn't humble you. Because I firsthand have experienced the world humbling me. And bro, I choose humbling myself first over that any day of the motherfucking year, okay? Stay down to earth. Stay lifted, elevated, but also stay down to earth. At the end of the day, reflect reflect and release you should be the first one holding yourself accountable now this is coming from a person who i hold myself to such a standard where i can be very hard on myself sometimes but honestly for me this works for me i wouldn't want to have it any other way i'm not gonna sit and rot from the inside out i'm not gonna allow it to stay under my floorboards i'm going to release it and when i wake up in the morning i'm going to apply the same things that i just hold myself accountable held myself accountable for i'm going to apply that into my day-to-day -day basis and me and my past versions me and my childlike self at any stage i love and respect because i did the best of my ability with the knowledge that i had obtained and i give myself grace for that but i do not hold attachments to who i was and if i feel like i'm holding an attachment and that's just a symptom of a root that I need to work on that is damaged or needs. It's just in need. Of, let me not say damaged. It's in need of a little bit more love, a little bit more healing. You feel me? A little bit more attention. TLC, time love, care. You feel me? Woo. All right, y'all. Let me, let me let y'all breathe real quick while y'all digest that. All right, we in the lab, man. We in the lab with it. Gino in the cut. Cooking up. Still stacking whole money If it ain't come up off a of bone Still stacking whole money uh. Bases on the corner Oh, this ain't no show money Get up off my dick Watch your bitch, your hoe on ho, son Old, old, old lot of woofing But he ain't gonna stand up He ain't really like that nigga Better put your hands up Baby, put a faith in X Know I got the answers Nigga, one false smooth Nigga like me gon' blast some. Come and pick your mans up Hey, pick your mans up Hey, pick your mans up Pick your mans up I set it up for that paper late night Steady creeping We them niggas in your bushes Leave them pissing Think he leaking Out of my bitch Ladies and gentlemen Alright It's a beautiful day Got some words of encouragement You know what I'm saying I got my sweaters in the back We're gonna be working on them soon uh, The brand is mindful You know it's just another branch Another waterfall of Mind of a Millions It's MNDFL Just like how it is on my face MNDFL Mindful Abbreviation No IRU Removing all ego well, I'm not for this chapstick. It's making my lips look hella chap, bro. Whoever say Carmex isn't good for your lips, Carmex don't be having my lips look like this. It'd be the natural ones making my lips look crusty. That's a shame. All right, but anyway, just bear with me. Just don't even look, okay? I can be a millionaire 
and I will spend those millions of dollars and I will sacrifice those millions of dollars to make sure I remain sane. I'm gonna choose my mind because if I lose my mind, I lose everything. I can lose everything and still have my mind. You know what I'm saying? If I lose my mind, I lose everything. If I lose everything, I still have my mind. That being said, let's talk about entrepreneurship real quick. I'm approaching five years of entrepreneurship, not being employed. I had worked two minimum wage jobs in my life when I was 17 and 18 at McDonald's and at Tropical Smoothie until I decided to just go fully in. I was, I was in barber school at the time, but just part-time. Think of it as a college. Think of it as your schooling. You go to college for four years and then you graduate. First four years of entrepreneurship is a whole lot of sacrifices and a whole lot of learning and unlearning and seeing what works for you and what methods works and what's a what's a nice balance for you not everybody can work seven days a week for 10 years their body is going to be breaking down you want to make sure that you have longevity so how are you going to take care of yourself take care of your body heal recover i get massages every other week i go to the chiropractor every other week to once a month just the little things to make sure your mind is good to make sure you're fully rested and the interesting thing about entrepreneurship right because people say like you know you never have a day off so to speak which i find is true so at this moment in time i take two days off a week as my balance and the thing is they're never truly off because i'm always engaged in something whether it's my brand whether it's the the clothing that i'm working on whether it's my beard and scalp oil whether it's investing in other forms of passive income like my skincare routine that i'm currently selling farmhouse fresh it's a, a brand that my mom had put me on i'm passionate about problem solving for people you know, and implementing these types of routines and daily care into people's lives because I know it's going to help them. And that is my seed of unconditional love that I get to give to the world, you know. So the thing about entrepreneurship is although, like, yeah, you may not have a day off, these are all streams of passion. These are all streams and branches that are going to unlock the next door for you. So when things seem unclear, when you're not sure how you're going to make things shake and you're not sure what that next chapter of your life looks like, you go towards these things that you're passionate about and they unlock it for you and all of a sudden you have four new doors in front of you and they're clear as day on what you're supposed to be doing acting in your passion and acting in the things that you're passionate about is you acting in your highest self and the highest form of yourself you feel me we get these little pools of inspiration for a reason and you can either lean into that feeling level up off of it i'm thinking of the word i don't know why i can't think of the word right now anyways or you can doubt yourself and not chase that feeling sorry i don't want to say chase and not lean into that feeling because you're hesitant and doubtful of what god has planned for you see we look for reasonings and we look for solutions and we look for things outside of ourselves. when we get rewarded and we get gifted for acting in our truest self we are gifted and rewarded when we practice discernment. We are gifted and rewarded when we practice this discipline and loving ourselves and taking care of ourselves and giving that to other people, not expecting a reward. Your future cannot be expected because it is gifted to you. You don't know. I may have, say, four or five things that I'm really interested in that I really feel like are going to take me to that next level but that next level is an unknown but i'm okay with that because i know acting in my highest passion the highest form of myself god will grant me tenfold and that unexpected is amazing if i'm expecting something that means i feel like it, it needs to be granted to me and nothing needs to be granted to me it gets to be granted to me i get to act in these passions i get to walk another day whether it's a sad day, a happy day, a negative, a positive day, it doesn't matter. These are all experiences that I get to learn from. I get to. I don't have to. I get to. I didn't have to wake up today. I got to wake up today. I got to choose what I'm going to do today. And that is a blessing in and of itself. It's not about motivation. It's just inspiration. Continue to feed yourself and you'll be able to feed the people around you. We are abundant. Abundance may not show in the form of money at this moment if you're struggling with that and you're trying to place yourself in a position of getting money, you're going to take that salary because you're going to make 80K, but you're miserable, that's not a good give and take to me. Because it's mind over what? Mind over millions. I'm going to choose my mind and things that bring me satisfaction. The things that I, I get to sleep well at night because knowing that I am doing the things that I choose to do and that I get to do. 
very grateful. We have to show gratitude. We have to show gratitude. Things will get rewarded to us. Just understand that it is not all your timing. If you get to expect the timing, it's not all that special. You feel me? Things come unexpectedly. The greatest gifts come unexpectedly. So yeah, we can do a little quick tour. So these shelves, these shelves right here are gonna be holding the one and only Mindful Tees. Mindfully printed only. Know that red stitching, custom stitching. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So these are gonna be holding that. I got the mini fridge, mindful license plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know that. A whole lot of mind over millions gravitating our riches. Never chasing, only gravitating. Got some UFO action. Got the mindful in the back. Keep your keep your coins. I want change. My dog right here want world change. We got some Banksy up here. You feel me? We got some sticker action going on up here. The Palo Santo just finished burning. Yeah, a little graffiti work, a little no speed limit. My locker joint, got Mac Miller. Got Kendrick down here. Of course, the record player, that's a must. We got Erica Badu spinning right now. We got Untitled on Master, Kendrick. We got some Steve Lacey joining it. Amy Winehouse, Jimi Hendrix, a little Frank Sinatra. Gotta have the classics, got to. Got some CD joints too, DMX, the game. Got to, bro. It's just, it's essential. It really hits people in a different place. I had, I had a new client the other day and when I turned him around, he didn't even realize. He's like, that music is playing off a of record player. He's like, I haven't seen that since I was back home in Jamaica 18 years ago. You feel me? So it touches the heartstrings a little bit different. You feel me? It got some, just a little work down here. And then also I got my mindful oils. Came out with my own oils in the meantime since the last time y'all seen me. But passive income has been like a huge game changer for me. This space honestly has transformed me. It's transformed my relationship with my clients. It's transformed my mindset, shifted me into that direction that I needed to be in and holding myself accountable for my business because I can't blame anybody in here. This is all me, you feel me? So if anything's going wrong, it's not like I can project to anybody or point the finger at anybody else. It's all me and that's amazing. I'm a person that you know, practices discipline and discernment and also just accountability. It's a stepping stone that I'm like forever grateful for. I'm so glad that I made that leap of faith. And to anybody who's on the edge, just go ahead and take that leap, bro, because you you earn your wings once you jump. Things don't happen overnight, you know. We have to understand patience. It's the little moves. I had bought these blank t-shirts back in November, but slowly but surely just building that arsenal until you're ready to pull the trigger. It's slowly but surely, great things do not happen overnight. It happens with teamwork, it happens with patience, it just sacrifices, investments, just little by little, bro. And you see your vision come to fruition and that is the greatest feeling. And I'm just ready to drop so I can start on the next project, you feel me? And um, you turn it into a lifestyle, truly. It's no longer just, a, it's not a task and it's not something that you have to chase being so vulnerable with yourself that other people see it and they realize that it's an extension of yourself and they want a piece. They want a piece, bruh. Your energy is in this, you feel me? But in a way that it's not draining, in a way that it's re refueling and refilling to you. And now you get to share that and, and allow others to do the same thing and inspire them. So she's been pretty, 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 pretty cool. So yeah, on that note, you feel me? I'm gonna let y'all go until the next video. I got some crazy things going on this year, bruh, and, and it's all gonna be broadcasted and, and portrayed right here for y'all. So, if you watching this video, I mess with you the long ways, you feel me? The long ways, I mess with you. For all, everybody who's been watching my videos or just sitting on the couch right now or just, you know, listen to this while you drive, whatever the case is, thank you, I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, make sure that you like, Leave a little comment so I know that you watching. Definitely subscribe because we got some crazy stuff on the way. And this is exclusive shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. If you're watching this, this is exclusive shit. Like, you seeing shit before other people. Like, you feel me? Ain't nobody had seen this shirt before. Screen printed by me and my dog. You feel me? In the, in the, in the trenches with it. Like, we did this, bro. This is an extension. Like, this wasn't made in China, bro. It's hand stitched by my dog right here. Lake Worth, Florida, bitch. Like... <laughs> We here. <laughs> it's not being imported. Nobody else is bringing our vision to life. Eventually, expansion is always necessary. But for the meantime, being able to have something with so much character in it is timeless, bro. Timeless. So, 
And that being said, I love you all. I love you all very dearly. You all hold a very special place in my heart. So now I'm getting tender. Okay, all right, y'all.